Hello, this is RV Vagabond Jerry. And in this video, I want to tell you about the battery and solar power system that I have installed in my motorhome. And my motorhome is a 2017 Atasca Soleil model 36G. It says Winnebago on the front because it is built by Winnebago, although it is actually an Atasca brand. And first I want to tell you about the chassis batteries that are in this storage bin. And the chassis batteries, which are these two, are used to start the engine. And I have a diesel engine, so I have two chassis batteries. And some smaller RVs and gas coaches, they may have just one. And the chassis batteries, in addition to used to being start the engine, they're also used to operate the hydraulic leveling system and the slides like this slide here that slides out and on this side is two slides and it also powers the gauges and everything on the dashboard and the step well covers and a few other things that are mainly on the very front end of the coach around the dashboard. And then in this bin are the batteries that are called the house batteries. I have six 12 volt batteries. And the 12 volt batteries power everything in the coach that the chassis batteries do not power, including the refrigerator and everything else that is plugged into 120 volt outlets, including the microwave oven. And the only thing that these batteries do not power inside the coach is the air conditioners, dishwasher, and a clothes washer and dryer. To power those three things, you have to either be plugged in to outside electricity or have the generator running. Now I also have 900 watts of solar panels on the roof. There's three panels, each one is 300 watts. There's the one in the back end, another 300 watt panel there, and then way up front is the third 300 watt panel. Now those panels are not tiltable panels. You can get tiltable panels and a lot of people do have tiltable panels on the roof. I decided to not go that route, although if I wanted to, I could convert them to being tiltable. And you want them to be tiltable in the winter because in the winter, as you can see here, the sun stays very low on the horizon in the south. So during the winter, I get only a small portion of the ability of my solar panels to bring in electricity. So what I've done to help with that problem is I have added a tiltable portable solar panel system here. This is 200 watts, it's two 100 watt panels and they plug into the batteries through that cable you see running along there. And the positive 
the red cable is plugged into the far left battery on that positive terminal and then on the other end at the negative terminal is plugged in the negative grounding cable. So that's the way you want to attach an external portable solar panel. You put one cable on the far right end of your battery bank and the other cable on the far left end of your battery bank and that way it charges all six batteries at the same time. Now it's important that you have a solar controller when you're using any solar panels. The solar controller for the panels that are on the roof have a built-in to one of my storage bins here a solar controller and the small portable panels here have a solar controller that is right underneath the panel there. And what the controllers do, the main thing the controllers do is make sure the batteries don't get overcharged. Once your batteries get up to 100% charge, if you continue charging them, then it will do permanent damage to the batteries. So the solar controllers, once it reaches 100% charge, it will disconnect the solar panels from the system. Now one more thing I want to show you is inside. This is where my remote panels are. And this one is for the solar panels that are on the roof. And you can see it's bringing in 135 watts and 9.5 amps right now. It's late in the day. And my 900 watts of solar panels is only bringing in 132 watts. And the reason for that is because not only is the sun way low on the horizon, but it's also behind some trees right now. <laughs> when it gets above the trees, away from the trees, that will go up to maybe two or 300. And there is no panel like this that gives a readout for the portable panels out there on the ground. You just kind of have to trust that they're working. You don't have a readout to tell you exactly how much they're putting out. And this device here shows that right now I am at a 91% battery charge. And then this panel up here shows battery charge as being full. And full means it's more than two-thirds charged. And I have done three other videos about these panels here. I did two bit videos that completely explained this one which has the battery monitor system in it to where it shows you right now I'm bringing in five amps more than I'm using at the moment and it shows my batteries are at 13 volts and it has other readouts this shows that my batteries are down 46 amps from being fully charged so there you go. I hope this helped you understand the battery and solar panel system in an RV and in particular, my particular motorhome. Good day.